Hey people, how are we doing today? Um, this is a beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall be glad. You shall be glad in it. I want to let you know that you are a you are royalty in the kingdom of the Most High God. Don't never let nobody tell you anything different. Don't let no one tell you or steal or rob you of your joy. Remember, the devil never ceases. You shouldn't cease in prayer. Um, if you need to, you just started out, I would advise you to set times. If you find yourself not praying, set a time through the day and pray. You know, you mostly, you definitely got to pray when you wake up. You remember, you got to read that word when you wake up. Even if that's saying, get up, you know, before you go to work. But you must, it's a must. It is a must. And I mean, not an option to get the word in because that's how the most high leads you. I have a beautiful, strong word that I want to release, but I'm not going to release it today. What I did want to get on here and tell you is that the Lord wants you to just sit quietly in his presence. He wants you... <laughs> He got this going on me. He wants you, I'm sorry guys, I can't see. He wants you to sit quietly in his presence. He said he wants you to make your mind like a pool, like a still pool of water. That's what he wants. He said he's, get, be, and be ready to receive whatever thought that he drops into your mind. But you got to learn to take time out for him. So that he can drop these thoughts in your mind. You get what I'm saying? Um, this In this action addicted needy speedy world. Okay. Also I want to tell you all. Um, confess out your mouth. And declare the works of the Lord. Declare good things of the Lord over your life and to your family. I will give you all a couple of them. I'm driving but I can't. Um, I'm looking at the book right now, but I will do another video. I did a video of it. Just declare the work, good things of the Lord. I am victorious. Father God, thank you for this new job that you're about to give me. Thank you for the new home. Thank you for the new car. Thank you that I'm walking deeper in you. Thank you for answering my prayer for that desire to want your word and read your word and to get deeper in connection with you. Thank you for healing me of all illness and disease and, and ungodly soul ties thank you for severing me thank you for um providing for me this day thank you for paying my rent just thank you for fixing anything thank you for giving me uh renewing my mind thank you that i will receive eternal life just start thanking him for the things that is about to come he's done and already does the bible says proclaim his good and wonderful deeds every day meaning you need to tell somebody that what good and he's done i don't care what nobody say remember ain't nobody gonna understand your walk with the lord do not try to be a people pleaser because we get caught up and don't compare yourself to somebody because there's a reason why God have us waiting and going through the things we're doing to build us up. Patience and, 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 and things, faith, and it, it endures things. Patience in your character. You are being um, built into your character, built into a stronger man or woman. Also, he says, don't worry yourself out about worrying whether you can deal with the pressures of today's pressures. He said, just worry about looking to him and communicating with him. Just keep looking to him. He said, you will find him that, uh, in, in, in everything nature. If you seek him with all your heart, remember, you are from the royalty in king, his kingdom. If you are royalty, royalty act like they're royalty. They dress like they're royalty. They talk like they're royalty. Women, we're, we're, we're not wearing hoochie mama royalty clothes well those ain't royalty clothes we're not dressing like a hoochie mama we're not revealing what's supposed to be hidden the precious things are hidden baby the precious thing he hid you and he in the words in the bible it says he saved the best for last baby don't rush him because guess what we, we we've been saved for last we've been handpicked okay we've been handpicked kings and queens we've been handpicked glory be to god there's still some good ones out there Glory be to God. Just like if you have them grapes, you still got some good grapes in that basket. With a lot of them still bad, but you still got some good ones out there. You got some good ones out here. And uh, like I said, um, some people try to miscrew my words on here. I'm not saying that, oh, someone said if you lost, if I'm doing, um, if I'm, I say it brings you blessing when you, when you help people. It does. See, the truth is the truth of the matter, but you're supposed to do it out your heart. 
The Bible tells you, this is what I would do if you help my people. This is what I would do. You will find yourself healed. You'll find yourself this. You'll find yourself that. You want um, something, healing to come to you and deliverance will come to you quickly. So I don't even let stuff bother me. Sometimes I want to let y'all know some things is left, be left better De done unsaid or, or even not even even responded to i know just know when you know who you are you don't have to worry about what other people gonna come at you because the devil gonna bring all type of people at you and throw stones at you also i want to let you all know that this week for to next saturday i said lord i sat y'all with the lord for hours saturday it was beautiful and he oh lord have mercy he showed me Man, y'all, he shows out. I'm telling you, just spend time. I spend time with him all day Saturday. And the devil kept trying to get me to do other things, innocent things, go to barbecues, get my knees. And I, I said no, because I said, I want to spend time with you this entire weekend. And I did. I did. Oh, it's beautiful. He's beautiful. Oh, Lord, have mercy. But I want to let you know, I said, Father, I'm not praying for me. Now, I pray. I lay my burdens on him. And I just ask for his spirit to be with me. But I'm not praying for me. So this is for you. If you need prayer, listen, you ain't got to put it in the comment section. I'm going to leave my email. Email me. I'm a righteous woman. I don't get on here. I don't fake the funk. I tell y'all the truth. And that's why sometimes people come in because the truth is the truth. I don't give to get blessings. The Lord knows your heart when you're doing something. Just do it out just to get something back. He knows that. I'm not lost. I'm woke. <laughs> the person made that statement. You, if you're doing it, you lost already. No, I'm telling you, you, you will be blessed. Give your 10% every week. You, he said, I will open up the heavens. He said, many of you are cursed in the Bible because you're not tithing. It's a curse upon you. Just go read Malachi chapter 3 and it tells you all about it. I've read it plenty of times. I tell on this channel to give all the time because it is essential for you to give. It is very important for you to give, children of God. It is so important, okay? But yes, it's very essential that you give. Give your tithes. I, I encourage that. And, and, and as you were, when I was reading in Proverbs 31, it says they help the needy. It says it through the Bible that you help his oppressed. He said because he going to come back and save his oppressed people, his poor and needy people. He going to come back. Don't get it, Mr. Screw. The Most High ain't playing. And when he come back, he's not playing. He's not playing. He said, he, they show my people no mercy. So we won't show them no mercy. But just give. Give your heart. Give a, a, a nice word. But make sure you are giving your 10%. Don't feel like you ain't got it because he'll take care of you. That's when your faith and trust come in. Remember, when you are building a relationship with a person, you don't trust him at first. So when you build with God, you begin to trust him. As I started to walk with him, I'm starting to see a lot. So don't worry about when it's going to happen. That's going to happen. Just keep your eyes on him. Stay with that music. The birds get up every morning chirping and singing. You need to get up singing and praying and praising. And, and, and your day will be good. When you go without the Lord and you don't open up that word, your day ain't going right. Something ain't right. He will guide you. So if you need prayer, all this week I'm praying for other people. Come on, send me these prayers, y'all, so I can go into the prayer closet. So I can go to my father. He said, confess your sins to one another and pray for each other so that you may be healed. He said, the prayer of the righteous availeth much. I'm a righteous woman. I wouldn't get on here. I, let me know. My girl, some of y'all already been, even the ones who sent me old emails said pray. I've been praying for you still. I've been praying for God to bless you with a home. I've been God praying for God to bless you. He will bless you. He will bless you. Guess what? It's, 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 it's a blessing to... It's you're just a blessing, period. So if you need prayer for your family, for your mind to be closer with God, whatever it is, let hit it in the comment section or email me. This whole week I'm praying for no nothing but other people. I'm not praying for myself, just for other people. Somebody sick. Um, if you, uh, you you notice attack of singleness, divorce, or uh, if you're battling with whatever, I'm learning how to warfare. God is showing me that. I've been listening to John Ramirez. That's how, what best way to overcome it is to learn to it from an ex-Satanist. Oh, I got to wait. Y'all can't, can't wait till I tell y'all what he was saying about the devil, what he does. Glory be to God. 
you all, you need to stay in prayer. When you don't pray and your mouth is closed, you're not talking to the Father. You got to pray. The devil, they don't stop. So you can't stop. That's why the tax is so great on you. You got to keep praying that the tax is going to be on you anyway, especially if you're chosen. But this is just the life we live in. You're going to have trials. And the Lord says, you won't only just find me in beauty. Look at the bird singing. That's the Lord. But also beauty and bird calls, but also through trials. A lot of his blessings are wrapped up in trials. Okay? You all be blessed. I am Latoya Love. Like this video. And don't forget to stock up on your stuff. Bye-bye.